Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. Many people were continuously asking me about uh, different colleges in Karnataka, their placements data and how are, I mean, people were asking about two different colleges and asking me which was the better one among them. So I just thought of uploading a dedicated video in which I'll discuss the top 10 engineering colleges in Karnataka along with their placements data as per the details provided in the NIRF rankings 2022 guys. NIRF will be considering a lot of parameters when they release the rank list for all the institutions and that is why I have considered that as a data for reference in order to prepare this particular video guys. This video is brought to you by college those guys. Some of the students who are currently studying in the top NITs and IITs of this nation have come up with a WhatsApp community called college those wherein you will be getting each and everything you require for KCET guys. It may be your counseling updates, it may be a rank predictor, it may be your answer keys, it may be uh, your college brochures and coming to your counseling process, it may be your college predictor many things you will be getting under the same roof you guys are fortunate enough to get all these things under a same platform that too at the comfort of your mobile phone through whatsapp so that is one thing which stands out and it has been proved to be a helping hand for many students and as well as their parents too till now and even you can join the community by just clicking the link which i have already given in the description guys with that note uh, let's start this video first things first I hope many people would have already thought of this particular college when it comes to the top 10 engineering colleges. It is R. Vishweshwaraya College of Engineering. So RVCE has got its own name. It is a brand in Karnataka and I hope many people know it. And in order to get a seat over there, the cutoff will generally be very low. And in the same manner, let me tell you guys that I'll be coming up with a video separately wherein I'll be discussing college-wise cutoff for all these colleges. But in this video, I just thought of just giving you an overview about how these colleges are and how they are ranked and what is the placement data and many things like that. So stay tuned. So subscribe and stay tuned so that you'll never miss out any videos like that when I upload in the coming future guys. So RVC Bangalore when it comes to the NIRF data which they have submitted to NIRF. So number of students graduating in the minimum stipulated time that is after 4 years the minimum number of st I mean the students who graduated in this particular 4 years without any backing are 950, 1063 and 1097. The fact that the numbers are increasing year by year that is the reason why it is in the top one among uh, colleges in Karnataka after NIT Suratkal and if you talk about the number of students placed you can see there among 950 students who have graduated there are around 675 students who have been placed successfully. So that is why this college holds a lot of value and uh, the data shows it. Age salary or the median salary of the placed graduates ranges from around 8 lakhs. So this is again let me tell you that this is not the highest package or this is not the lowest package. So this is an average package calculated by adding up all the individual amounts and dividing it by the total number of students that is 675 you get this and if your rank is good and if you are eligible to get into this RVC that too in particular branches like CS and IS or EC then you are good to go guys. Next comes BMS College of Engineering so this is also a famous college and I hope many people will know about it till now and if you don't know it so after RVC then when it comes to engineering colleges in Karnataka we always talk about BMS College of Engineering which is located in Bangalore and the NIRF ranking for this is 83 and then when we talk about the number of students graduating in the minimum time that is in four years is 967 961 and 962 the number is just ranging around the 960 mark itself and when we talk about the number of students placed it is from 656 759 803 the fact that again it is increasing makes it a developing college now and there is a lot of scope for development in the coming future and the same way the placement data is also improving that tells you how good this college has been in the recent years and uh, even if you are someone who are looking for placements again and if you are someone who are looking to settle down after your engineering then BMS college is a good to go guys talking about the average salary all the median salary of the graduates who got placed it is ranging around 7 lakhs so 7 lakhs is again a good uh, amount and then in 2019 to 20 it is 7 lakh 60 thousand and when it comes to 2020 to 21 then it is ranging up to 8 lakhs again that average package is also increasing day by day or year by year so this was about BMS college and then when we talk about PES college which is also known as a ring road campus so that old college and that is why I have taken this here and its NIRF ranking is 100th and when you talk about the graduations it is 936, 1230, 1250 it is quite a big number and I even I had an opportunity to get into this particular college and due to many things I just 
prescribed myself or confined myself to SJC Mysore guys so PS college is quite a good college the infrastructure is also quite good and the environment over there is quite good it seems according to many of my friends who are studying there right now and when you talk about the number of students placed again it is ranging above 1000 which is quite a good number and you people may ask why should we know this before counseling so when you are entering your counseling process you should be knowing what is the scenario and how are the colleges and what is the data of colleges and all because you will be having an upper hand among those people who doesn't know it and you will be able to select the best possible college for your rank and that is what i ultimately need guys then uh, talking about our college so this college you many people who are watching this video will be knowing that i am studying in this particular college which is jss or uh, sjc mysuru and this ranks around 158 in the nrf rankings and again let me tell you that the campus is quite good and talking about the placement data it is also decent cause when the when it comes to the number of students placed it is 553 in 2019 and 690 in 2021 that too uh, i want your attention towards the average salary guys in 2019 it was 5 lakhs only but in 2021 it has increased up to 6 lakhs and that tells you the scope for development in this particular college and how why uh, many companies are preferring to get into this particular college in order to uh, hire the graduates out there if you compare the colleges which we discussed earlier the number of students who are selected for higher studies is more in this college and many people generally prefer it to according to my experience in this short tenure of time in my first year of engineering and then when we just talk about SIT Tumkur Siddhanga Institute of Technology it, it is again quite a good college and many of my friends are studying there and if you are someone whose rank is ranging around that 4k to 7k mark and you require the circuit branches and all then you can just easily enter into this SIT college which is uh, quite good in terms of data too and in terms of environment too it is quite good it seems according to many of my friends who are studying there guys in order to be ranked 97th in the NRF ranking many other parameters will be considered which makes it a good college to join if you are eligible for this particular college and the average salary is from 4.5 lakhs in 2019 to 6 lakhs in 2021 there is a scope for development and i hope by now it has even increased further then talking about ms ramaya institute of technology so this is again a co prestigious college in bangalore and it holds a rank of 67 in the nrf rankings and the data tells you why it has a, that particular good ranking in nrf ranking guys so the number of students graduating is way big that is 1137 1121 1121 and then number of students placed is also too high here so 875 819 812 among around 80 percent have been placed successfully in all the three years and the average salary is also quite good so 4.5 lakhs in 2019 to 5.5 lakhs in 2021 it is quite a good college to join again the environment is quite good and uh, through KCD, if your rank is in that 1000 to 2000 mark, you can easily get into this college, guys. Then, talking about Nitte Meenakshi, again, many of my friends are studying over there, and that is quite a good college. And NIRF ranking for it is 183. And talking about the students graduating in that four years, it is around ranging from that 980 to 1000 mark, which is quite good. And number of students placed is also good because among the 966 members 643 people have been placed so that tells you the ratio and the percentage of people placed the average salary ranges from 3.5 lakhs in 2019 to 6 lakhs in 2021 and number of students selected for higher studies is also good in this college which tells you the values which they add during your engineering and then talking about nie college which is located in mysore which is national institute of engineering it has been divided into two campuses which is uh, respectively called as north campus and south campus and if you have any doubts let me clear this now itself north campus will be having all the secure branches like computer science electronics information science and things like that whereas mechanical and electrical everything will be uh, is going on in the south campus and both the colleges are under the common administration so uh, since it is not affiliated to this nirf i just took the data from their official website so when you talk about the placements data over there among computer science students the registered candidates were 145 and 130 are recruited so the fact that among 145 130 have been recruited that is quite a good number guys because you may understand why i am telling this only 15 people have not managed to get placed into a certain company after applying so that tells you the percentage of students who are getting hired in this particular college that to in a branch like computer science 
and the other uh, then the data for placements of other branches are also quite good if you just go through this particular slide and then in the end talking about ps college of engineering which is located in mandya it is quite a good college it is quite an underrated college if you ask me so the nrf ranking for it is 137 and even if your rank is a little bit low you will be getting this uh, college and that makes it accessible for many of the people who are watching this video guys if you are considering pes college then it is quite good according to me and the reason why i am telling this is the nirf ranking which it has got and it is among the top 10 colleges in karnataka which has got a decent nirf ranking so in talking about the number of students who are graduating it is from that 700 mark to 730 mark and number of students getting placed is quite good when we consider the number of students graduating and the average salary is ranging from 3.36 lakhs in 2019 to 4 lakh in 2021 and according to the recent data i think it has gone up to 4.5 lakhs too and talking about the number of students who selected for higher studies it is 80 136 and 64 in the recent 3 years talking about new horizon college of engineering which has been located in bangalore it holds a rank of 121 in nirf and it is quite a good college to join even with a decent marks or rank in your kct exam guys so let me tell you that around more than 1000 students are getting graduated in the minimum stipulated time and among them 927 and 950 students have been placed in 2019 and 2021 respectively which makes it quite good and underrated college again because many people won't prefer joining this new horizon college and the fact and the data which has been projected in front of you tells you how good this college is and it tells you that you can join if you are eligible for this particular college if you are aiming for a good placement after your engineering guys and uh, according to many friends of mine who are studying over there right now this college is quite good in terms of infrastructure and administration and in the same way the environment which it provides too so i hope you got a brief idea about all the 10 colleges which i discussed over here and i just gave a brief overview about the placements data so i am planning of uploading a dedicated video in which i'll be talking about the fee structure and the same way i'll be talking about the colleges cutoff too there itself so that you'll be getting an idea of the cutoff and the fee structure in a different place so now the intention of making this video was to make you understand the overview of the placements data in the top 10 engineering colleges of karnataka that were purely based on the nirf rankings which have been released in 2022 the bad news is time flies the good news is you are the pilot so this quote tells you the importance of the available time for you after kct and before engineering and let me tell you if you utilize this particular time after your kct then that will give you a lot of edge over other students who join engineering along with you and the way you utilize it determines where you'll be reached i'll be uploading many videos regarding what you can do during this time after your kct which will help you out in your engineering if you are someone who are joining engineering guys subscribe to stay tuned and with that note this is darshan Skoda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye